Arnold Schwarzenegger and Muhammad Ali. I don't know if you saw this picture I just posted on my Instagram, and I'll read you the full caption. A young Arnold Schwarzenegger and Muhammad Ali. Legends are built, not born. They could have been good, even great, but they were not satisfied until they became legendary, until they had forged their names forever into the sands of time. That's that next level shit for all of us coming in 2016. Arnold wore shorts to expose his weakest link, his calves, to push himself to do more calf exercises. Muhammad Ali didn't count his sit-ups one, two, three, four, like most people in the gym. He would start his sit-ups first until he felt the burn, and only then did he begin the count. To push yourself to master something, to me this is a human's highest achievement. It's the little things that add up. Find one thing, big or small, and commit. Build yourself incrementally in baby steps, mind, body, soul. Mentors overseeing your progress and ridding you of your blind spots. One year, five years, maybe 10 or 15 years. Hard work. No one's watching. No one's complimenting you. Then slowly all those ba little baby steps and training sessions start to kick in. But you're still not satisfied and you go back and study and push yourself even more. The fires and trials of life burning away the impurities. You are left with only gold. Only then, maybe, will you earn legendary status. So what's your next practical step? You know, I put, don't just be good, be legendary. When I think of those guys, so, uh, there's so many myths in the world about what it takes to create greatness. Um, but I think at the most basic level, they weren't satisfied. They could have been good, they could have been great, but, you know, Arnold Schwarzenegger and Muhammad Ali, they train differently. When Muhammad Ali used to do sit-ups, most of us count, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six. He did. He just started doing the sit-ups, and once he felt the burn, then he started counting. And that's a big difference for those of you who have done it that way. Arnold Schwarzenegger, he had this huge chest, big biceps, but he had a weakness that his mentors had, had uh, you know, kind of shown him, which was his calves, or were his calves. And so what he did, instead of showcasing his greatness, and minimizing his weakness, like most people do. I've been guilty of that. Arnold Schwarzenegger put on shorts and put on baggy sweaters. The baggy sweaters covered up what he was already good at, and the shorts, you know, kind of embarrassed him publicly. But that embarrassment was his fuel. That was his, uh, what pushed him to go beyond. And there's a great book called Bounce, and it's the myth of inborn talent. It's basically the subject. And so many of us, we think we're born this way, but not really. Like, legends are forged. You know, they forge their name in the sand of time through a different approach to life. And I can think of no greater goal, at least the way I see life, um, but I really think it's for all humans, is, is to find one little thing and achieve mastery in it. It could, it could be, you know, great think public things like being a pro bodybuilder like Arnold Schwarzenegger or a boxer like Muhammad Ali or it could be simple things behind the scene things that's not what matters what matters is can you push through when everybody else gives up can you put in the one year the five year the 10 year maybe even the 15 or 20 year I read somewhere the average multimillionaire took 12 to 20 years to get there most people say Ty that's too long and you know it's ideal if you can achieve success quicker but uh, there's a saying that doctors have, which is nine women can't make a baby in one month. It takes nine months to make a baby. You can't add more women into the equation and speed up a baby's gestation period. It's, it's nine months. And I think at some level, legendary status, um, there's only so much you can do to speed it up. I do think you can cut the learning curve, and that's why these guys, whether it be Muhammad Ali, or Arnold Schwarzenegger, or any great person. They had mentors because m mentors see our blind spots. Um, but in addition to that, it's just raw hours put in. My trainer, one of my trainers, Pooh Richardson, who played in the NBA for 10 years, he always tells me, your, rep uh, your repetitions are your reputation. And Arnold Schwarzenegger, while you know everybody was going in the gym for one hour, he was in the gym for six hours. Same with, I just read an interesting book about Muhammad Ali. Same thing, all these people. And so can you push back? You know, no one's watching you. No one's seeing the progress. Sometimes you don't even see the progress yourself. That's the hardest time. That's the dark, you know, those are the dark years is what they call those. When you're training, but the results haven't kicked in. But 
I think it's interesting that most of the great religions out there talk about faith. And I'm not super religious. I don't know what you are. You might be atheist or super religious or in between. But one thing I do take uh, from religion is the idea of faith. Meaning, it's kind of like the chicken and the egg. Do you create mastery in your life, whether it be in health, wealth, business, family life, social life? Uh, do you create it quickly, right? So it's like the egg just kind of spontaneously is there, or, and you get the reward, so you get people rewarding like, oh, it's such a good job, which keeps fueling you to work harder, or do you start with the training, right? when there's no praise and that's what makes it hard so i say it's the chicken of the egg most people don't have the the faith in yourself in that one thing that you committed to you can't commit to everything but you find out one thing that faith uh, and i'm not saying this in a super spiritual way but to see the unseen before it happens that's what kept arnold schwarzenegger in the gym for six hours before he was mr olympia or that's what got muhammad ali to his first fight because you can't have the fight without the training, yet most people won't train without knowing there's a fight. That's what I meant by the chicken and the egg. Like, it takes training and hard, crazy hours in the darkness when nobody's watching you to create mastery, but most people won't do that because the mastery is what gives them the praise so they won't persevere without it. So if you can figure out that formula, and for me, it's little things, it's like micro motivations. You know, every day try to wake up. That's why I post this stuff on YouTube and Instagram. People wonder why I do it. I'm like, this is for me, and maybe you get some value from it. And this is like, I always sucked at regular blog, uh, diaries. My mom said I should have kept a diary. I never did, but it's easier to do a video. So I just snap these. These are my micro motivations. I wake up, I see Arnold Schwarzenegger, Muhammad Ali, young, and I'm like, damn, you know? I want to be young and begin on my path to creating some level of legendary status. Not to show off, but because there's internal intrinsic value to it too. So, 2016's coming up, you know. It's like, uh, will you be able to push through the trials in this year? Charlie Munger says life will throw tremendous blows at us, you know, death of loved ones, betrayal of friends, failure, bankruptcy, whatever it might be. I'm sure it's coming for me. I'm sure it's coming for you. So hopefully the fire burns away the impurities and uh, we make it through. Maybe we do. Maybe we don't. I don't take life so seriously. But if I had to pick a goal, might as well try to be legend in something even if it's just legendary for yourself, you know? So, anyway, check out my Insta if you didn't see it. It's just under my name, Ty Lopez, and my Snapchat. My Snapchat's Ty Lopez and the number one. So, you know, I try to write myself. I read Warren Buffett writes himself stuff when he wakes up just to kind of have everything coalesce into one cogent thought. And that was my thought for the morning. Maybe it inspired you a little bit. It got me focused, you know?